In this video, we show you how you're not only traveling with this car for over two weeks now, but also using it as a camper at night. So stay tuned. Hi and welcome to Behind the North, the show where we explain you all about our Norway road trip adventure and the show Nothing But North and give you some behind the scenes. Today we're gonna cover this car in particular, which is our camper for this road trip. We are now living in this car for actually two weeks now and are here today in beautiful Senja. We have a wonderful sunset and uh, let's have a tour in and around the car. So the car itself is a Opel Astra uh, station wagon from the year 2018. And we are really happy with this car. It's the Ozoas car and uh, it has a motor with I think 125 horsepower and so far we have been traveling around 5000 kilometers with this car all up here to Norway and we have currently a mileage of 5.9 liters per 100 kilometers which is pretty great uh, considering that we have a ski box which I will talk about in a few minutes. So let's have a look at our day configuration. So during the day the seats are in a standard configuration as you would drive and we have everything uh, that we consider our luggage and more <laughs> here in the back. We also see the mattresses which we will cover also in a few minutes and we have um, all our duffel bags and, um, and shoes and everything we need on this road trip back here. So in the back we have here um, our refrigerator, so a cooling box which allows us to cool up to 30 liters of items um, during the drive. And yeah, everything uh, <laughs> uninteresting of luggage is here in the back. So let's turn around here. This is our um, yeah, camping gear so we have two chairs we have a foldable um, table which is also quite nice and we have here a, another little table come around a second so here we have our cooking box which includes gas stove um, coffee etc and then we have our gas stove and here this plate which perfectly fits on this box which allows us to have a second table without carrying actually a second table with us. So everything camping related is stored here in our roof box. This is a 470 liter um, Thule jet bag I think and we coated it from a very ugly gray into a nice black. Uh, I spray wrapped it and it looks not just 10 times better but 100 times better so when we open it it already got a little bit emptier since our storage of um, yeah of food gets smaller day by day and here in the front we store tripods um, the camping table the camping chairs and everything related what we need in the morning and in the evening goes up here so I think you're most interested about how we are actually sleeping in this car because yes, it's true, we are sleeping for over two weeks now in this car. And for this, we have to modify it a little bit. And with the last weeks, we got faster and faster doing that. And today we are actually gonna stop the time and have a little time lapse and then we will back with our sleeping configuration. Let's go. So in exactly five minutes we transformed this car into our very own camper and I guess you're all interested, excited how it looks like. And here it is. So we have two of those free folding um, guest mattresses and in the day one side is flipped and at night of course it's, uh, it's open and it gives us over two meters of 
laying area, which is totally enough. I'm 183, you as well as I think 189, right? Okay, kind of 189, who knows? And uh, we are just perfectly able to sleep. And also from the space we, yes, I would lie if I would say I wouldn't be happy to be back home in my back bed uh, next week. But uh, it perfectly works for this road trip considering also what we are able to see having a configuration like this. And um, here in the back we have those little curtains that we can just pull here in and also here which block the light coming inside to the through the um, rear window and also give a bit more privacy the same thing we do have here on the side so here we have this um, magnetic curtain and yeah it's just uh, way better and way more convenient and just uh, gives more privacy when you are sleeping also like here on a parking lot or um, on a camping ground. So talking about camping grounds, we try to hit a camping ground every second day just to refuel water, have a proper shower, etc. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, also let's have a look of how it looks here on my side. So here we just stuff the space between the front seat and uh, the second row with duffel bags here i used two douche bags to do that and it perfectly works and then you have really an even space and here let's have a look in the front um, here in the front all the luggage which is a day here in the back um, goes in the front and here we have for instance the cooling box and my backpack, my hiking backpack, the guitar, etc. One more element which also makes this car way more convenient at night for camping are those plates. These are plastic elements specially custom made for this car and for pretty much any car you imagine. Klim Air, where we got those from, have the perfect wind blades or however you call them in English and they allow to leave the window a little bit open and then this allows the air to circulate through the car at night without rain etc coming in. So this concludes the tour of this car. We are traveling now for two weeks with this car and um, yeah what's the point of this video? I wanted to make this video to showcase that pretty much any car you can imagine, maybe not a smart, maybe not a very compact car, um, can be a road trip car, but there are so many more cars that could be able for doing an incredible Norway road trip, Scandinavia road trip for three weeks, um, then you can imagine just with those few modifications and you really don't need a camper van. Yes, a camper van is convenient, a camper van, <laughs> yeah, uh, may look cooler on Instagram but our point for this video is maybe that van life is overrated and you really just don't need a camper van to do an adventure like this. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have further questions regarding our considerations and also um, our configuration with this car, how we are using it as a camper, just comment down below. I try to answer the questions as fast as possible and also consider subscribing to this channel to get further videos like this and also um, see the pictures of this incredible road trip and also the series Nothing But Nov. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it and I see you in the next one. Bye.